Hey guys, Nintendo Fanboy here. Thanks for checking out this video. Today we're going to check out um, the Nintendo Switch 11.0 patch notes and just kind of look at it. So this released a couple days ago. It's actually my first time looking at it. I'm already seeing the difference right here. We have this Nintendo Switch Online tab on the bottom. So that's already different right off the bat. So we're going to go through the patch notes really quick right here. Um, and so... Um, we have a uh, Nintendo Switch Online was added to the home menu, as you can see on the bottom right here. Um, a, a new feature that automatically downloads backed up save data was added to the save data cloud. So um, I think that comes in handy when you have multiple devices, such as myself, which um, that's really nice. Cause I don't before you have to like manually get into the cloud and update it. You know, if you're playing in between systems. Um, it, it, it's just, it's not hard to do. It's just kind of tedious. So if this becomes an automatic thing, I don't mind it. I don't mind that at all. Um, uh, a new trending feature was added to the user page. So that must be up here. Oh, there it is. Yep. Trending feature. So check out what games are trending with your friends. Cool, cool. Games your friends play. They play a lot of YouTube. My friends need to play a lot of, uh, ooh, got more people playing Vigor now, huh? That's cool. I haven't played it in a while, but I, I was grinding that game for the long, longest time. Oh, Zombie Army. We're starting to get some more people on Zombie Army. That's good. Good, good. Good to see. I love that game. So I'm getting a little off topic here. But um, as you can see, I'm liking this little trending page they got here. So um, users can now transfer screenshots and videos from the album to their smart device. Um, it, it, this is going to be wirelessly, apparently. So that, that's really nice to see. Um, so here's some of my screenshots here. Sharing, editing, send to smartphone. Only this one, send a batch. Okay, that's cool. Let me send only this one. Cool, we got a QR code. So I'm going to take my smart device. I'm actually doing this. This was not scripted in any way. I, I'm actually just doing this right now. Um, let's see, I got to find my QR code. Scanner. So here's my QR code scanner. I'm going to scan this really quick. There it goes, it comes up really quick. That was fast. It says network name switch. Okay, so I guess I'll just try that later. Um, but that's pretty cool that you can transmit to your smart device wirelessly. No more having to mess with the SD card, which is one of my things. Um, a new copy to a computer via USB connection feature was added under system settings. <laughs> User can now select download to prioritize when the there are multiple downloads in progress. So that's cool. Multiple um, you can uh, change your or you know prioritize your downloads. Uh, can do that before, which is um, one thing I I've always wanted the the switch to do is to be able to prioritize downloads because sometimes you want something to download first, you know. Um, User icons were added, so there's 12 user icons that commemorate the, tw the, the 35th anniversary for Super Mario Brothers. Users can now name preset button mappings with the change button mapping feature. That's cool. That was on the last update where you could um, map your buttons, but now you can name them. That's pretty cool. Um, Brazilian and Portuguese was added as supported language. So that's a nice update um from what i'm seeing here the only things that um that i would like to see uh added in future updates i mean we're in 2020 now and we still don't have um themes on the switch um i could be wrong about this but i don't think i am i'm gonna check this out actually okay there we go so one of the things I liked about the Wii 
is you're able to buy your friends or family points or uh, games actually you've been able to purchase them games through the through the store the Wii shop and uh i've done it a few times you know and it's pretty cool you know it's it's actually pretty cool to you know turn on your Wii and you see like you got a gift from somebody and someone gets you a, a game or whatever so um that's one feature that i would love to see nintendo release on the switch is the ability to gift games or points or something you know so so this that wasn't too bad of, a, of an update um i think i'll enjoy a lot of these features but like i said i would like to see uh themes come to the switch i mean we've waited long enough um gifting options on the eShop. um if nintendo can do a better voice chat um that'd be nice see there's some games like zombie army trilogy where it's so team-based you really got to have that voice chat um vigor can get that way too if you uh play with your friends you know you want to play as a team on this game especially um even like rocket league i mean realm royale a lot of these games rogue company you know um the voice chat comes in handy so um of, of course gamers find other alternatives you know other ways to communicate but um nintendo really needs to um get that one down i think they did a good job with the wii u uh i remember playing a lot of black ops 2 on that and the 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 voice chat the voice chat on that was was fine but um for you know future games and stuff i hope they do some kind of party chat or something um something that uh is a little more convenient to the gamers so all right guys nfb out i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video or if you find it informational if you find it helpful give me a thumbs up it really helps out the channel i'll catch you guys on the next one and as always game on guys